Welcome to the Little River Casino Resort. Over the next few minutes, you will learn about the reasons and necessity of 100% compliance with our site-specific safety policies. They are probably unique to any other job site you've worked on and are monitored and taken very seriously. The Little River Casino Resort operates 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Thousands of guests, employees, and vendors enter or leave the property daily. The sheer volume of vehicle and pedestrian traffic, along with security requirements, creates unique challenges to this job site. The site-specific rules are to ensure safety and comfort for all, guests, employees, vendors, and contractors alike. Everyone must be mindful that the Little River Casino Resort is in the entertainment and hospitality business. Guests come to the resort to have a good time and enjoy themselves. The resort property features an extensive gaming area, luxury lodge-style hotel, conference center, three restaurants, and a full-service RV park. The casino and hotel are always occupied, and there are business meetings, conferences, expos, wedding receptions, and other special events happening on a daily basis. It is essential that disruption to these functions or guests is minimized at all times. As a person working on this construction project, it is important to know that the moment you enter the Little River Casino Resort property, you are on tribal land that is governed by tribal law. As such, any criminal charges that occur on property will be prosecuted in federal court in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Be aware that tribal law prevails and in many cases carries harsher penalties than state or local laws. If you have any questions regarding tribal law on tribal property, it is your responsibility to become informed. Access to the back of the house areas throughout the casino and resort property is strictly prohibited. Weapons or ammunition of any kind are not permitted on tribal property at any time. This means zero tolerance. Even if you have a federal, state, or county-issued CCW permit, leave all weapons at home. Failure to comply with this law is means for immediate dismissal and prosecution. Tribal law enforcement reserves the right to search all vehicles entering or leaving the property at any time and for any reason. Remember, this is a drug and alcohol-free environment with reasonable suspicion of any use of drugs or alcohol. The construction manager or their designated representatives reserves the right to search your person or vehicle. A serious accident or near-miss incident is cause for drug and alcohol testing. Parking and posted speed limits are to be taken very seriously. You must adhere to all designated contractor parking areas as indicated on the map. Access to the guest and employee parking areas is prohibited. At no time shall emergency lanes be obstructed or curb cut areas be blocked. Temporary offloading is understood, but vehicles should be unloaded and moved as quickly as possible. The posted speed limit on the Little River Casino Resort property is 15 miles per hour outside of the controlled access construction zone, while the speed limit inside the controlled access zone is 5 miles per hour. The general rule of thumb is to keep it low and slow. In case of an emergency, you should not call 911 but rather contact the Little River Casino Resort Security Office at 398-3841 or extension 3841 from any house phone. The security office will dispatch first responders. Again, all emergency calls for fire, police, or ambulance will be directed to the Little River Casino Resort Security Office, 398-3841. In the event that the site needs to be evacuated for any reason, contractors are to report to their designated assembly point. For all construction workers, this site is the designated contractor's parking lot. Like any other construction site, everyone is expected to comply with 29 CFR 1926 OSHA construction industry standards, as well as safety policies of the construction manager. Personal protective equipment, including safety glasses, hard hat, and construction-type footwear must be worn at all times. You must also be able to identify the person in your work area who is trained in first aid and CPR. These names are displayed in the construction manager's office. Fire extinguishers and first aid stations will be clearly identified. Familiarize yourself where these resources are in relation to your work area. Never disable a sprinkler system or fire alarm without notifying the construction manager's office at least 24 hours in advance. Strict policies are in place for the Assured Grounding Protection Program, 
This program ensures that all electrical devices such as tools or cords are thoroughly inspected and tagged on a regular basis. All project-related electrical cords and power tools shall have ground fault circuit interrupters as well as current color-coded tagging. The color white represents January, February and March. Green is for April, May and June. Red is for July, August and September and orange represents October, November and December. The contractor's name must also be clearly visible. Any cord or tool that does not comply with GFCI should be immediately removed from service. Fall protection procedures are another vital area of safety compliance. In addition to standard fall protection measures from structural heights, special attention must be paid to surface depressions as well. Falls are the most common cause of serious injury or death in the construction industry. Remember, the Little River Casino Resort is a 24-7, 365 operation, and guests are bound to wander the property. If you have any questions about proper fall protection measures, please talk to your identified competent person. Right to know procedures will also be strictly adhered to. All MSDS information will be kept on file in the construction manager's office. All fuels and flammable liquids shall be stored in their proper containers and in their designated locations. After you have viewed this video, you will be required to sign an affidavit stating that you agree to 100% compliance with Little River Casino Resort site-specific safety policies. You will also be issued a pair of orange stickers that certify you as site-specific safety compliant. These stickers are to be displayed on the sides of your hard hat where they are clearly visible at all times. You will also be required to recognize the identified competent person in your work area. These individuals will be identified with green stickers on the sides of their hard hats. Any safety related issue or concern should be brought to the attention of the identified competent person. The identified competent person is required to conduct weekly safety meetings for the purpose of keeping everyone on the job site informed and up to date about the latest safety issues and concerns. Your input is encouraged for the sake of creating and maintaining the safest job site possible. After each weekly safety meeting, you will sign off on the material that was covered. This documentation is mandatory and kept on file in the construction manager's office. The goal on this project is for zero lost time accidents or injuries. Being aware of your surroundings is extremely important. Again, the Little River Casino Resort entertains guests around the clock. Because of this, no radios are allowed anywhere on the job site and extraneous noise will be kept to a minimum. Do not use offensive language or wear offensive attire. Smoking is permitted only in designated areas. All breaks in eating should also take place in the designated contractor area. Pay strict attention to maintain access barriers such as walls, railings, fences and the like. If a barrier is removed for any reason, it must be replaced before leaving the area. Continually keep exemplary housekeeping habits, specifically in any area that is accessible or adjacent to Little River Casino Resort employees and guests. At the end of each workday, accessible areas shall be repaired to their prior condition. This can mean leveling or repaving of unpaved areas, replacement of doors or panels, removal of equipment, tools and other support devices, as well as general cleanup. If there are any questions about these procedures, please discuss them with your identified competent person. You are welcome to patronize the restaurants located inside the resort. If you choose to enter the resort proper, do not use offensive language and always be conscious of your appearance and demeanor. You are amongst casino guests and employees. If you choose to visit the facility when you are off duty, please be sensitive to your surroundings. At all times, conduct yourself like ladies and gentlemen. It is understood that the special, site-specific safety procedures outlined in this video may seem extreme. But it is crucial to follow through on every detail while working on this construction project at the Little River Casino Resort. Thank you for your attention and for understanding the importance of the Little River Casino Resort's site-specific safety policies. Remember, the purpose of these rules is to ensure the safety and comfort of anyone else who enters the property during the course of the project. If you have any questions about any materials covered, do not assume anything. Please consult your identified competent person for answers.